What's up guys, it's Vishu from Geekstars. So we have installed our Glassfish server and we have configured it. We have like kind of configured it because we are going to log in and do everything via web console. So we need to make sure that everything is secure because if any intruder puts a packet sniffer on your network, he can actually see whatever you are doing and that's not quite like very secure. So we are going to make sure that when we try to remote log in into this console everything is like encrypted and uh, we have passwords and everything so that it is like safe so first let me go to the glassfish directory so it would be cd glassfish and if you don't know this is the tilde sign which is like the home sign if you go back to home so i am in home glassfish and what i'm going to do now is change the user so i'm going to do su minus glass fish and once i'm here let me clear the screen I need to go into usr share glass fish 4 and the bin that we are going to use is inside glass fish 4 not the one inside glass fish as i told you in the last video so i'm just going to go into the bin and there's an as admin file which we need to like execute to secure our glass fish so if i do an ls minus l you will see that as admin has a 751 yeah no 755 so this is the user 75 like 7 as in 4 plus 2 plus 1 this is the group which is 4 plus 1 which is 5 and this is others which is 4 plus 1 which is 5 so it's a 755 so i can read write and execute since i am glass fish I'll show you that. So I'm Glassfish. This belongs to Glassfish. So I can read, write, and execute. So I'm going to execute it first. So you do that using a dot slash, and you do as admin. So I'm in the as admin shell, not shell. I'm in the as admin console. So once I'm in here, I have to change the master password. So I do a change master password, and I'm also going to save this. So the default enter the new password it will actually ask you for the default one since i have changed it once it is asking me for a new password but the default password is change it so if you want to do anything you have to do oh i have my notepad open so the default password is change it so put change it and then put your two new passwords just because i am already in here i am going to change the password so enter the new pass password it's going to be this one and new master password again it should work fingers crossed and come on so it has executed successfully i have to change the admin password so change admin password and i also changed this so i won't get the default one but the default username is admin the default password would be blank since i have already changed it it is asking me for the admin password i'm going to put the password that is and enter the new password and enter the new admin password again i didn't change it so yeah doesn't matter so you have set the che like the master password and you che set the admin password this save master password will actually save it to a file locally if you want you can change the location of the like the permissions of the file to 700 so can only so that you can only read like read write and execute and the other and the other users in the group cannot do anything and once you're done with this what we need to run is change no we need to restart start the server i guess so once you're into this we have to start the domain and did i tell you about domains yeah so domain is like the application so we have started domain one which resides in glassfish i can't show you over here i'll show you later on so it says command start domain executed successfully uh it's giving me a dns error because this is always going to change so it won't know what it is but it has successfully started on port 4848 remember the security settings that we changed uh, security groups to allow 4848 and 8080 
so this is why we need 4848 because glassfish runs on this port and once you are done with this you do an enable secret not secret secure admin so you do enable secure admin and do you trust do a yes enter the admin username which is admin enter the password you must restart so I'm going to do a restart you see restart domain let me try this it should work ideally because restart is an option everywhere and I think it is working but let's see if this doesn't work you just do a start start like stop domain and start domain but restart domain executed successfully so or you can do stop domain and you can then do start domain and once this has executed successfully i show you the domain so you do a cd double dot you do cd glassfish domains and domain one so this is domain one is the default one and we just started that domain and it is actually running right now so we can actually go and see that so let me copy this public dns so take this enter it over here and do a 4848 ah i forgot to remove this and once you do this if your server is running like properly it would like show first this error message that your connection is not private but we have https running the only error we are getting here is chrome cannot find the certificate for this domain and it won't be able to find it because it's our domain we haven't registered it with any of the like companies like where i where i sign or any other secure com companies which like usually check the certificates so what i'm going to do is remove this first advanced and proceed it is just telling me that it cannot find the certificate but we know that it is secure because we have secured it just like five minutes ago so once you do this oh instead of 4848 let me show you 8080 first so 8080 would actually show you that it is running 8080 is the http port so once you do an 8080 it actually loaded the 4848 page anyway so you can see admin admin over here this is my last password from my assignment so this is not the current one but okay let's log in and let's see if everything is working so this is the last pass which is an password manager that i use it's kind of good it's cheap like it's 12 bucks for a year and it works on my mobile too so i usually prefer this and i am in so this is the glassfish server and i have actually remote logged in like remotely securely and that is why we needed those admin passwords if you don't put the admin password anyone can like use your ip address put a 4848 and just log in and change anything so you need to create the admin password and master password you, you need to secure it using uh, the secure enable secure domain uh, enable secure admin and that's it so in the next video we are going to actually create pools and configure it to talk to the uh, jr the serve db that we just created like few videos ago so i will see you guys in the next video